Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today we're going to be looking at some old school methods for building strong muscular and functional back muscles, specifically from the Silver Era. When we see the back development of John Grimmick, Steve Reeves and Reg Park, besides having impressive muscular development, they were also as strong as they looked, possessing functionality that is rarely seen in today's bodybuilding athletes. One of their functional attributes was the ability to perform Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting, which are rather technical sports that are in many ways separated from bodybuilding in this day and age, but were part of bodybuilding as a functional display of one's strength in the past. The ability to perform these movements at an elite level, because many top bodybuilders were also top weightlifters, is also reflected in their thick back muscularity. Now the kind of exercises that were supplemented into their bodybuilding programs to help with Olympic weightlifting movements such as the snatch, clean and jerk and press involved movements that mimicked these movements and often incorporated using boxes to either perform deficit, elevated or even seated versions of these movements which we will now look at. Schedule 1 works the lower pull and building power from the legs to the lower back. And these include two different exercises, namely box straddle lifts and the high deadlift with a clean grip. Many of us have heard of the straddle lift, but what about deficit straddle lifts performed on boxes? That will definitely present a new challenge. You simply stand astride two boxes or platforms, could also be a stack of bumper plates of equal height, and if at hand, you ask your training partners to hand you the barbell, gripping it as shown in the diagram, and once between your legs, you squat down and rise and repeat. A good start point is performing two to three sets of eight repetitions, and then building up the reps until you can perform two sets of 20 repetitions. These exercises build power in the lower back, hip and leg muscles, and could be performed as a belt squat too, except you lose the benefit of training gripping power. If you doubt the straddle lift, then just look at these images of Grimmick and past strongmen who used to straddle lift ridiculous poundages. The power and strength they gained from such lifting was transferable into their weightlifting ability. The elevated deadlift with a clean grip is next. This exercise is performed with two boxes or platforms or stacked bumper plates or can also be performed in a power rack. Taking a clean grip with the barbell set at below the knee, you pull the bar up until you are upright in position and then continue the pull as if trying to do a high pull. This exercise will work the entire back musculature, including the lower as well as middle and upper back and traps, helping create an explosive pull that can be transferred into a greater pull for cleans. A good start point is performing two to three sets of eight reps and building up the reps until you can perform two sets of 20 repetitions. Schedule two works the pulling muscles focusing on the lower back to middle back. The exercise is being alternate upright rows and bench cleans. Alternate upright rows are performed with a pair of heavy dumbbells and you stand upright with these dumbbells in hand. You pull each dumbbell up to chin level, pulling one arm at a time and then the next, alternating between each. You start by performing two to three sets of eight repetitions, working up to three sets of 15. Bench cleans are performed sitting down and are the next exercise in this schedule. And a similar exercise and stunt was performed by Steve Reeves and John Grimmick to demonstrate their pulling strength. You rest a barbell on a bench in front of you, taking a clean grip and pull it from the bench to the clean position to rest on the chest and shoulders. Control the weight on the way down to the bench as this will also give great benefit. You start off with a poundage that allows two to three sets of eight repetitions and work up to three sets of 15. And by the way, if you think this is hard, get this, Steve Reeves could perform a kneeling clean to the shoulders with 100 kilos or 225 pounds. John Grimmer could only perform a 90 kilogram clean to the shoulders from a kneeling position or with 200 pounds. Both incredibly strong feats of strength. The last schedule, which is schedule three, will focus on the upper back and shoulders to lock out overhead. Cheating rowing motions and seated snatches are in this schedule. 
Also known as strict high pulls, cheating rowing motions are exercises that are renowned for building massive muscular development and power in the upper back and traps and was used by the likes of Marvin Eda and Doug Hepburn who would use in a cheating form working up to 500 pounds or, or more even as a maximum poundage and would use 400 pounds as working sets. And we know how massive these athletes really got without the need of PEDs. Using a snatch grip with the weight selected, pull the barbell up as high as possible as if trying to snatch it and then lower the bar and repeat. Try not to bend the legs so that the main focus is on the upper back musculature and not on the lower back. Start with two to three sets of eight reps, working up to three sets of 15 repetitions. Seated snatches are next, and you want to sit on a bench with a barbell in front, and one simply grabs the barbell with a snatch grip and pulls the bar quickly to bring it overhead into lockout. Lower the bar and repeat. Perform three sets of five repetitions, working up to three sets of 10 reps. So there are the three schedules that can work any of the selected areas mentioned, which can be weaknesses, that is in the lower back, or in the middle and upper back, and that will translate into greater functionality should you wish to try out your hand at Olympic weightlifting, and will of course add strength and muscularity to the desired areas. If you have enjoyed the video, please give the video a like, subscribe, and leave your comments, and click the bell button to be notified of future videos. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how Steve Reeves developed his rib cage, I've got a wonderful new e-booklet up on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com, which explains a very rare and unpublished Reeves rib cage and full body routine. Of course, my website has many other booklets on Steve Reeves' methods, specifically how I develop my waist, how I develop my broad shoulders, and another ebook on how he developed his wonderful diamond-shaped calves. All available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels, as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked, and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash stores slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much much more. Once again at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Sups the Movie, 
Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.